Now, as we know, so many people here in South Florida have personal ties to people in Israel, and they're watching what's happening there very closely. Ari Hyde spoke with one of those residents who's very concerned for his family. Ari joining us now in the studio. And Ari, it has to be so hard for that man to be here while so much of his family is in Israel. No, it absolutely is. He tells me he was on the phone with them for a while today. He was calming them down as they were calming him down. He's grateful they're all safe tonight, but he is worried about what might happen tomorrow. It was early evening in Israel when Iran began firing rockets into the country. At Temple Judea in Palm Beach Gardens, it was around 11 o'clock in the morning. And that's when Rabbi Yaron Kapitonik heard about the attack. I was heartbroken. But Rabbi Yaron is not only heartbroken for Israel, he's worried for his children. All four of them live in Israel, and all four were terrified. Being far away is, is so hard, and, and you feel so helpless. You kind of want to have a magic wand and just get there and hold their hands. It's not just his children. Most of Rabbi Yaron's family is there. His parents, his sister, all of them raced to bomb shelters when the rockets started to fall. I've been in a shelter many times myself. It's a sense of, uh, of helplessness. You can't do anything. You just have to sit there and wait and you hear the booms above you. Rabbi Yaron was in communication with all of them throughout the bombing. He says he breathed a sigh of relief once they could finally leave the shelters. But he knows it won't be the last time this happens. He calls it a reality of living in Israel. I think we all share a prayer that um, one day soon, sooner than later, we shall see peace and peace will return to that region and we'll be able to continue to work towards the prosperity. I really hope one day peace will come. Rabbi Yaron tells me he already had a trip planned to Israel for next week and now that trip is so much more important to him. He says he cannot wait to get there and see his family. Reporting live, Ari Hyde, WPBF 25 News.